Hey guys, I'm in my tax at Cricket 2021 right now, just kind of doing a, a little short update of everything that I've done so far. I'm trying to do this as usual in one take because I'm super lazy and I don't want to edit and mostly because I can't edit either. So uh, doing it all in one take. So I'm going to show you guys what it kind of looks like right now and what I've done so far and what I'm thinking. And if you got any opinions or comments or you can help with anything that I got a question on, maybe you can just comment below. So here's what it looks like right now. So. I'm kind of, there's a bunch of lighting going on in here, so excuse it if it's not too uh, bright or whatever, but it's nighttime. So I've got these milk crates that I just bought from Amazon. So I figured I'd put them in these locations right here. And then I like the milk crates because they don't have lids. So I can easily get in there after I flip this open and I can reach in there and get whatever I need to get out. And um, I can also change the configuration a little bit and kind of have them in a configuration kind of like that so if i wanted to put something else on the side here i can so um that's what i like about them they don't have to stay in any particular well not all of them but some of them you can move them around this here because it's got that little box maybe a little harder but you still have a little bit of room right here so uh not as concerned with that but uh it definitely does give you a few more options of how to configure that all right so going up to the front here this is where the most challenging stuff is probably happening right now. If you look in that corner right there, I've got that Gold Zero Yeti 1000. And um, I did not intend or I do not want to put it there because I actually want to put another one of those crates in that location right there. So I want that battery to go somewhere else. I can put it underneath this front bench right here and it fits just fine here with more than enough room to spare. I can bring... I can pull this down and the battery fits underneath there. So that's a position or that's a place I could put it in, but then that takes up my space to do anything else down here with, you know. I uh, have this little toolbox right here that I ideally would like to have underneath there as well, in some kind of fashion like that. So if I was to grab this battery, Put it right there that's how that would look let's move this light and clear this up a little bit so that works and i can lower it down like that and let's get out of here a little bit so that does work like that and i may have to do that and then the only other thing is how i'm going to charge that because i want it in a position where it's always going to be charging whenever i'm plugged into shore power or if i'm using uh, or if I've got solar plugged in on the Zamp Solar connection outside, I want that battery to always be charging as well so I don't have to try to charge it separately. So what I've done is in here, which is the battery compartment, if you open that, we're going to see my Go Zero Yeti or my, <laughs> my Battleborn 100 amp hour battery in there. I just got one because I'm using that Go Zero. But I'm thinking I'll just end up probably getting a second one that way. You know, I don't know. The more power, the better, I guess. So, um, right here is a NOCO 12-volt uh, adapter that I've just plugged in directly to the battery. It's still plugged into the shunt, which is back in there. Um, so, whenever I've got the Goal Zero plugged in and charging, it does reflect that on my Victron um, battery monitor right here, which I'm doing a video on that. Uh, let's see... So if I got another battery, it would just go right there. For right now, this is over here like that. And I'm planning on drilling a hole through this cover right here. And then I can actually then plug in my Goal Zero Yeti using this adapter that I bought. So where's that end? So that end would plug in right there. And then I guess I can just kind of route the cable from the back all the way and uh, bring it out to charge using this port right here. So I am thinking for right now, perhaps that's what I'm gonna do. If you can figure out a different way for me to do this or some other plan, I'm, uh, I'm all ears. But for right now, I think that's what that's gonna do. Right here is a Dometic CFX 55 um, fridge. So, and if, in my head, I thought I was going to be able to put the battery right here, but it doesn't fit. Well, it fits 
this way, but it won't fit long ways. But if it fits this way, I can't access any of the controls on the front. So that doesn't really work out. So this bridge is actually gonna stay in this orientation right here. And uh, that way it just kind of covers this area right here and maybe makes a little extra extra seating location because it's pretty sturdy so you could sit on this nothing is going to happen to it uh, maybe you can even i don't know sit on it while you're cooking up there who knows but uh that's where i'm at right now but i really want this open so i can put a crate in there so i don't want to do that um still a bunch of stuff going on up here because i still am uh, working on different options but that's what it looks like right now i've got the little dometic camp cassette toilet down there and um yeah that is what i've got so far i'm thinking that i've caught you guys to just about everything that i've done i've got some videos either already posted or coming up about that victron yeah i guess we can talk about it just real quick this is a battery monitor that i put in to replace the one that was on there which which was just a voltmeter this one actually just gives me a whole lot more data, my state of charge um, and a bunch of different uh, settings or things like that. So pretty cool, loving that right now. And then uh, uh, what else? I need to figure out, I need to figure this out. This, uh, when I zoom in right here, you see this iNet ready. So you should be able to control this using a smartphone app or something like that, but it may, th it may need some other device or something like that in order to actually get it to work so I'm, I'm going to check that out see if there's a module that i need to buy or if it's already ready to go i doubt that it's ready to go because that would be too cool so um i need to research that a little bit more to find out what happens with that um for right now that's about it um i'll keep uh going at it and i'll update you guys whenever i've got information so let me there's a bunch of videos i've got videos that are kind of stacking up on how i did that uh battery monitor and everything else and i just need to kind of arrange them all and publish them and put them out there so that is coming up but uh that's it for right now if you got any questions or you're wondering anything just ask me i'm always i try to be pretty quick with the responses because i know that you may be working on your own rig and you're kind of looking for information or some people are trying to buy them so um I help whenever I can. I'm not a professional or anything like that. I'm just a guy with a trailer. So don't expect any kind of crazy um, insights or anything like that. This is basically like, this is basically like, hey, I'm working on my trailer and this is what I'm doing. Help me if you can. Otherwise, I'm going to go at it by myself and make mistakes. So that's about it. Hopefully this was helpful. Remember, it's free and you didn't have to watch this.